Um, before we play, I just want to um, say that we're so fucking honored to be here. It's just, I mean, we came over here for the first time when I was 17. I just dropped out of school. It's 21 years ago. And it's always felt like home. We've met lifelong friends, played amazing music, grew as people, and we're just so fucking honored to be able to do it one more time. So, we're Battery from Washington, D.C. This song's called What I Give.
Thank you guys for helping singing. My uh, voice is a little scratchy from yesterday, so every, every, all the singing along helps. So uh, I have a friend here, Sam, who uh, spent, I don't know, Sam, I don't know where you are, but we probably did an interview that lasted, I mean, I think we worked on it for like two months. And um, the combination of that interview and putting together this kind of compilation of records that um, we, we just put out and kind of coming on this tour gave me a lot of time to just kind of reflect on the words I wrote when I was a young dude, you know? And um, one question he asked me was how I felt about straight edge and what it meant in my life. Um, I am not embarrassed to say I'm not straight edge anymore. Uh, a lot of the people here on stage with us are. I would say my older brother is probably the, uh, I mean, if there's anybody that, uh, that, that kind of just embodies what I fucking love about straight edge. It's what it means, what it meant to me as a kid and what it meant, what it means to my brother every day. I am not one of those people who broke edge and went, fuck, that was just stupid, I was just a kid. It just, it meant something different to me as I got older. You know, I have family, I'm in the studio, and things just were different, but when he asked the question, I started to think like, I mean, what, what was it about this that made me love it so much, right? Like, was it not drinking or was it not smoking? It wasn't, it was, <coughs> A couple things. It was one, I was very fucked up when I was a kid. And straight edge probably saved my life. Um, it, it, it gave me something that was positive and aggressive to believe in. And, it, and I, I, we didn't have parents that gave us like a moral compass. And the records became my moral compass. They became like, what? I defined myself, you know, I, I, I think all the time, and not just straight edge bands, but when, when we were kids, gay was the funny thing to say, right? There was, oh, that's fucking gay, oh, he's a fat, oh, whatever. And I remember be, going and seeing uh, Fugazi and Ian Mackay saying, this guy got beat up down the street for being a homosexual, and that's fucked up, and people that say that shit, you know, and it was literally like, my parents weren't doing that, the fucking bands were doing it, right? So, as I look back, I'm fucking proud of these songs. I'm proud of what, how I've dedicated my life to music. I, I have friends from the band Red Gloves that drove up here from France, and I feel like I fucking know them my whole life. Sam, we've worked three months on our fucking thing. I recorded five records for Mike, and, all of us have dedicated our lives, I feel like, not only, not only to, you know, making music, but tr trying to impact the world in the small little way that we can. And the personal sacrifices that I see these people, Kevin is on, just came back from Majority Rule on tour, and can't tour in the world, Shannon, what they've given up to continue to do this day in, day out, be away from their families, be away from their friends, be fucking dirty, be fucking sweaty, be fucking alone. It's fucking moving and I fucking love it. And I respect these guys more than anything in the world. I respect you more than anything in the world for being here. And I just thought I would share that because I'm not fucking embarrassed about how I live my life now. I've made mistakes like everybody else, but I am here heart and fucking soul, and respect the shit out of you for everything you've done for me. This song's called Only the Die Hard Remain. Take it back, never see no time again. 
All right, thank you. We got some uh, technical difficulties, but this is fucking amazing. Is that the battery jacket from the old days that I'm seeing out there? Whoa. <laughs> you know what? While we're working this out, I'm going to tell you a crazy fucking story you may not believe, and it's not super emotional. It's just fucking crazy, right? So, I, uh...